Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun Tips and Tricks episode. I am your host Boomer and today we are talking everything geo from mining to scanning to teleportation. So let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to look at geo mining. You need a few pieces of equipment. You need a power supply, which we have here. Now, while you don't need a control panel, I do recommend it when you're first beginning to learn a little bit more about how geo complexity levels work as well as teleportation. So we'll cover, we'll come back to that in a while. You need a geo miner, which we currently have one running. You need either the geo scanner or the portable geo scanner. You're going to need a GPS transmitter, which you can't open up. There's no interface. And that geo uh, transmitters need to create a complexity level of 600, which we'll cover here in a second. And if you want to mine buckets of oil, you also need an oil pump. So to successfully mine geo-wise, you need, like I said, a complexity level of 600. And that's one of the most common questions I get is people don't really understand it or take the time to try to understand it. So we're going to break it down in very detail here. You have to use the GPS transmitters to create that level of 600. There are four different transmitters. The basic GPS transmitter, when you place it, you get one point towards that level of 600 for each Y level above zero. Any transmitter you place below zero, Y equals zero or below, you do not get any points for the Y level. You only get the level bonus when you're below zero. So the basic one does not create a level bonus. So if I place one of these at Y equals zero, I get nothing towards my complexity level. If I place it at Y equals 50, I get 50. So I would need 12 of them at Y equals 50 to give you my 600. If I'm at Y level 200, I would only need three. Moving on to the advanced, by placing this, you get a level bonus of 100. So my base is currently where we're at, at minus Y equals 63. I would have to place six of these down here to achieve a GPS complexity of 600, 100 times six. If I were at positive Y equals 100, well, I would get my 100 base bonus plus four points times that Y level of 100 of 400 more. So that would give me a total of 500. So by placing one of these at Y equals 125, 125 times four is 500 plus the 100 level bonus gives me my complexity of 600. Now I can geo mine. Moving on to the carbonado, you get 500 for placing it. So again, at minus Y equals 63, my complexity level would be 500. But if I place this at Y equals 10, I'm going to get my 500 plus 16 complexity for every Y level positive that I'm at. So 16 times 10 is 160. Plus my 500, 660, I can geomine as well. The other one is the energized. So off the bat, you get 600 complexity bonus. So at minus Y equals 62, I can geomine or 63, I should say. But if I'm up, let's say I'm really high, I'm up at Y equals 200. I'm gonna get 64 points towards my complexity for every Y level that I'm at. So I'm gonna get 12,800 plus the 600 bonus, so I'm at 13.4. And you ask, well, if I only need 600 to geomine, why would I wanna create a complexity level that high? Well, in Core Slime Fun, it has to do with teleporting and how fast you're gonna teleport. In the Foxy Machines add-on, the chunk loader requires 7,500 for each chunk loader. So that comes into play quite a bit. All right, so let's get back to the geo mining here. So if I go to the control panel, I can see the transmitter overview tells me my transmitters, where they're at. They are specific to the individual who placed them. There is no method to share GPS complexity. So I can see where I've placed it and the signal strength it's generating towards my GPS complexity requirement. Now in this case, because I'm way down at minus Y equals 62 or 63, my signal strength is 34, 32 to the negative, but I still get that 600 positive towards my requirement of geo mining. In other words, by placing it down here, my GPS complexity level meets the required of 600. The other thing we can see here in the control panel are my teleportation waypoints. I have two places within the world. I can go to where my villagers are, or I can go to where I'm going to build a future home. And if you notice, they are color code compatible. 
If I want to remove a waypoint, I simply click on it to delete it. You can have, I believe it is 20 waypoints per person. I have not seen uh, the ability to have a second uh, screen of these. So I believe the limit is 20 per person. Now, if I want to use the portable geo scanner, when you look at the lore, it says right click to scan. So when you right click, nothing happens. The only way I've been able to get the portable scanner to work is to right click the geo miner. That will bring up the scan results and then it will work from there. So in theory, if you follow the lore, you should be able to right click anywhere within the chunk. Currently, the only way, like I said, I can get it is to right click the miner and then the scan does appear. All right, let's move on to teleporting. So we need two things. We need a GPS teleporter pylon. Technically, you actually need eight. You need a matrix and actually you need three things. You also need a teleportation device. There is a personal device which allows only you to use the teleporter or there is a shared device. Now again, each person will teleport based on their GPS complexity. So if I'm at 25,000, they can still use my matrix, but they will not get the GPS of 25,000 that I have. The formula will use their GPS complexity to determine how fast it should take. So if I jump on here, I can see I have two points to go. I can teleport to my villagers or I can teleport to my future home. So let's teleport to the villagers. So you can see the percentage of how long it's taking. Every slime fun tick, in this case, I'm going 5%. So it's taking me 10 seconds to teleport to my location. And in here, I have my villagers in my basic farm setup. They're working good. That's nice to see. Now, again, I can either teleport to my villagers, which I'm here, or I can teleport to my future home. One thing I forgot to do was set a waypoint back where I have everything set up. So we'll go back to that in a second. So you can see the estimated amount of time it takes to get there. So my future home, based on where it is and where my GPS complexity level is, of how long it's going to take to get there. There is a very long formula that's in the wiki. I will try to remember to post that formula so you can see how it works. But again, it's going to take approximately, it says nine and a half seconds to get there. Get ready. Hold tight. And we are at my future home. So this is where I'm planning on building something. So let's get back to my to my initial uh, base area. Let's see, 145 minus 62 minus 185. Yeah, it should be close enough. Okay, I missed by a little bit. So to set a waypoint, you use the GPS marker tool and simply right click where do you want it? You can type in whatever name you want and it is fully color code supported. So let's do this one and let's say a home base. All right, we've added a new waypoint. So if I jump on here, I can now see, I use the white code, but it's no longer italicized, right? It's now normal straight up. And yes, it's a half a second teleportation time. Because we're right here. So now I can come back at any given moment. There is a couple of other teleportation device. So there's a portable teleport, eh, portable teleporter and an emergency transmitter. So let's talk about both of these. The portable teleporter must be charged with slime fun power. You can use any of the chargers. It uses, I believe it's 10 joules per transportation. So let's say I want to go back out to my future home. Now you'll notice it is a lot slower. It's going to take me a little bit to get there. So in this case, the portable teleporter does not use the GPS network complexity the same way that the teleportation pad does. This is the maximum, I believe, time it can take to teleport from one location to another. So it is a cheaper alternative to get there. The only downside is, is it takes just a little bit longer to get there. All right. Now the GPS emergency transmitter. It says carry this in your inventory automatically sets a waypoint at your location when you die. All right, so let's do that. Let's get away from there just to make sure and let's kill myself. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure this is right. Let's go back into survival. Let's do this. Time set uh, 15,000. 
summon zombie. Whoops. So we're gonna we're pretending we're in a firefight here with a zombie. He's gonna kill me. Boy, you're sure taking your time. Okay, you see now we have successfully added a new waypoint. So if we go back to our teleportation. Oh come on, really? Oh, you know, you have those days, right? I have hardcore slime fun installed and it reset all of my research. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, so it's going to take me 20 seconds to teleport. And if you notice, it gave me my, my date and time when I died, where it is. So at least, this is great. When you're going out into the world and you randomly die, right? And you think, oh, crap, I've just lost everything. So the nice thing about carrying that emergency transmitter is we're going to be able to go back and get all of our materials. And this is great on public servers where they don't have graves, um, you know, or you can't use the back command. I can come back, get all my stuff before somebody else can. We're going to watch him just, you know, disappear. Got all my stuff. So let's head back to the teleporter. And so you can see it says the date and time I died. Uh, and where I was, but we'll go back to our home base. Now, I'm curious. Okay. Teleportation canceled. Oh, apparently I moved off the thing. All right. Now, the reason why it's taking so much longer, I just realized this. Those chunks with my GPS network complexity aren't loaded. So it's not detecting... That's my guess, is that it's not detecting that I have a complexity level of 600, which should cut this down quite a bit. But anyways, we're getting back here shortly. And we are back. All right, so like I said earlier, if... Ooh, why did I do that? I want to delete teleportation spots. So I can go to my control panel. I can pick my waypoint. And now I don't want my death point to be there anymore. I simply click it, and it's gone. And I can go back to any of those that I want to. I can delete all of these and start over at any point I want. So I believe, yep, I believe we have now covered everything in core slime fun when it comes to GPS and teleporting. So guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to consider subscribing as always. When you're playing slime fun, you got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.